Do you love the whole farmhouse vibe? Well, if so, I've got a beautiful open concept with an amazing entertaining area that you just have to see to believe. And make sure you stick around because I'm gonna let you know why you may not wanna use me as your real estate agent. Everyone, this is your first home tour with us. Welcome to the channel. My name is Rob with the Robert Anthony Real Estate Group, brokered by Real. And I am touring this beautiful four bed, three and a half bath home coming in at 2687 square feet. This particular house was built by Eric Maywald Homes and is listed with my good friend Whitney Yoko in the XP Realty. I'm showcasing this home for a couple of buyers that I have that are relocating within the state of Texas. And we're looking for an open concept with at least an acre of land, maybe with some trees, doesn't not necessarily have to have trees, but which is the most of the majority of the homes out here in the Laverne area. So as soon as you enter, you see this big open floor plan with a double step ceiling, the rock fireplace, beautiful ceramic tile, woodlook flooring, and a gorgeous modern gray and white paint scheme throughout the whole entire house. And as soon as you walk in, they have a powder bathroom right over here to the right. And instead of a pedestal sink, they actually put a cabinet area with quartz countertops, which I thought was a really nice touch. A lot of builders don't do that anymore. Let's take a good look at this double ceiling, which is awesome. I love it, it gets carried to the room and then our grander ceiling fan they have here. And I also love the stone fireplace in South Texas. It's almost a must to have one and they put one here in the corner, which is great. You can have multiple furniture setups around here and you can put the TV above the mantle or on the wall. And one thing I really enjoyed about this builder is they put blinds in throughout the whole entire house. So it's already installed in the windows. So when you buy it, you don't have to worry about installing anything. The kitchen area was really pretty massive. They went with a dark stained wood cabinetry, upgraded white quartz countertops and a beautiful gray and white combination tile that they laid in a herringbone design, which is really pretty popular and allows the gray of that quartz countertops to really reflect off. There's room for five people to walk side by side between the sink and the cooktop, which is really large. It's not like really tough for people to get through there. The kitchen comes equipped with stainless steel appliances, a beautiful farmhouse sink and a pantry located here in the corner, which is another great setup. Another upgrade the builder did was they installed a gas cooktop which is a really nice upgrade for a spec home that most builders out here that are putting in spec homes do not do. You see it right there, it's just gorgeous. The tank's actually buried outside in the yard, it's not sitting on the ground. They actually bought it, purchased it, and it's in the ground, which is awesome. I would say the majority of our clients prefer a gas cooktop over an electric range, but how about you? Is a gas cooking an absolute must? Leave me a comment below, I'd love to know what, if it's a deal breaker for you. In this particular floor plan, they do not have an office. They have this dining room area that opens out to the kitchen, which is set up next to the dining room. But one question for you, how important is it for you to have an office? Be sure to leave a comment below as well. I would say about 50% of our clients want to have a dedicated office. Here, let's take a look at the garage. So they did a two car garage here, which is right off to the kitchen. And it's a really good sized two car garage. And they have windows in there that face that main part of the road with the mud bench over here as well which goes into the primary bedroom, which has an abundance of natural light that we'll see coming up here in a second. The mud bench was probably enough for two people, I would say. I don't know if you can get three in there, definitely not four. Um, but then you see, you know, step ceiling, crown molding, beautiful ceiling fan, and it actually opens off to the back patio. I didn't showcase it here, but there's a door off to the right that did open up to that back patio area. So, which is really popular, almost a must to have back patio access off the primary. So here in the ensuite, it's gorgeous. You have two separate sinks, that divider right there in the middle that we see, there's the commode over there to the left. But that divider right there you see is great. We're seeing that more and more now. Beautiful freestanding tub over there with gorgeous tile surround work around it. And then that wood look tile flows in over here as well. And they actually have the blinds with a window, which is great. You can just sit there and soak. That window faces the orientation off to the south. So you know in, in the evening time, you don't have to worry about sun coming in. You'll have that right there. And then you have this beautiful shower. I love the stone pebble tile that they have. You have the accent pieces right there where the shower head is. And in the insert and all over the floor, which is absolutely amazing. I truly love how they had this thing laid out. It was fantastic. So over here in the closet, you have room for all your shoes and clothes and storage up top and any bags and other things that you may have up there, potentially two or three year old iPhone cases or MacBook cases for some reason to have those. Anyways, you can store those all up there, not a problem. I mentioned earlier that you may not want to use me as your real estate agent. And what I mean by that is I really focus here on real estate in the South Texas area, specifically high-end listings and also new construction 
from the buying standpoint. So if you're looking at areas in Dallas, Houston, Wake, or even Austin, we have agents that we could refer you out to that would treat you just like we would, like your family. So if you're looking to buy, invest, or sell in those areas, we can get you in touch with the right people that will take great care of you. We have all of our contact information in the description below, so be sure to reach out and we can assist you with everything that you have real estate needed wise. So coming over here to the secondary bedrooms, particularly the first bedroom has its own ensuite, which is great if you have a family member staying over and we're seeing more and more people that have their parents move in with them when they're getting into their golden years. So this is a great room specifically for that. They have a separate space over here to the side where they can get ready, do everything that they need to do, and then they just have somebody in there that can just have their own space and be by themselves. It is just a great setup. Those en suites are another part of the floor plans that we're starting to see more and more here, especially in South Texas, more importantly in Laverne, where we've seen such massive growth in the new construction part. So this would be a perfect bedroom for that. This particular Eric Baywald out here in Laverne has a very solid reputation. And as somebody that has worked with over 21 builders in the last 10 years, all the way from entry level production builders, all the way up to the most elite custom home builders in the area, I can tell you his reputation stands out as a quality builder and you would not be sorry if you bought this house. This is actually one of the main reasons that my clients chose me over other agents here in the area is because of my history working with builders and how important it is to have that experience from the last 10 years on their side, what to look for and almost more importantly, what to avoid as we have great relationships with quality builders, but not just builders, but people that do metal workshops and pool builders, which are also very important out here, especially in this Texas heat, you're gonna wanna enjoy the backyard. This particular subdivision, Hondo Ridge, is just over a year old with several of the houses that first broke ground just nearing completion and ready to sell. It's conveniently located about 10 minutes from the heart of Lavernia, which is important because you're super close to HEB, the other grocery stores, schools, and all the other cool boutiques and shops that Lavernia has to offer. It's a short 30 minute trip to downtown San Antonio. And as we finish up this tour right here, just know that a few stoplights, you can get to anywhere you need to in San Antonio, whether it's the Air Force bases, HEB, warehouse or anything like that, Toyota, you can get there in no time. There's my friend Whitney Yoakum again, one more time people, as she's kind of hanging out with me as we did this tour. And as we wrap this tour up, we'll take a peek at the back patio area, which faces due west and has a great amount of trees over the other distance. The builder went ahead and put side-by-side -side steps here off the back, which is an upgrade. Most only do one front that go down there, but they went ahead and put both back here. There's a gas spigot off to the left, so you can hook up your gas grill or you can do an outdoor kitchen. And if you have anything else real estate wise here in South Texas that you need help with, we are here to help you. Just let us know. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next video. Take care.